I think when the City Girls album just dropped and it didn't do too well and we was just like trying to do our press run. You know the whole rollout of the album was just so bad because we was just in two different spaces. Mm. You know like we older now and it was just like she was doing her own thing. She on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. I'm in Miami. I'm doing my own thing and I felt like naturally when, when she doing her own thing it just worked for her. Mm -hmm. And when I'm doing my own thing it worked for me. But when we get together as a group it just wasn't connecting. Mm -hmm. Like it just wasn't working no more. So I think we both was at a point where we was just like we probably should just do our own sh Right. But that was the point for me. Okay, okay, okay. So, guys, listen to me with this. Uh, before, I, before I get started, man, all my TikTok people, all my Instagram people, don't forget to hit that follow button. All my YouTube people, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button. But, uh, Young Miami, JT situation, City Girls. Um, when I seen them do the interviews on The Breakfast Club, it showed me a lot. And I feel like sometimes, like in life, some people outgrow their friends. And sometimes people's lifestyles just don't mix anymore. You know what I mean? And I feel like you've seen the energy when you see them on the Breakfast Club, even though they try to buffer it a lot in the different interviews and things of that nature. You can see that it was in two different directions, two different things. And I feel like that's hard to do collab albums with <laughs> when you have that type of separation and thought process. This is say, for instance, she got an idea for a song or she got some. And then she's not on that wave. You know what I mean? People be on different lines and stuff like that. I've always felt like solo was best for them anyway. Because they're going in two different directions, two different lanes and things of that nature. And I feel like the energy just was not on at all. You could tell it was some tension. It was something there. You know what I mean? But like I said, scheduling. I got, you got to think about it, man. When you come in the game as a, as a, as a younger person... You're learning the business. Y'all coming in together. Everything's fun. Then you start establishing relationships with somebody. Then you start uh, uh, getting business things from different people. The look may not be the same after a while. Now I ain't saying you're getting big-headed or something like that. You're just moving in two different directions. Sometimes you might be late to stuff because you're doing this and doing that. And that could frustrate your... Let's just say, for instance, right? Um, I guess JT is the studio person, the music person. She's in the booth. She's practicing. She's ready. She's waiting for you. <laughs> and you're taking all day. To, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's frustrating for some stuff like that, man. To have somebody playing with your time or playing with your energy. And then you come with a, with, with a song and you're like, what is that, man? You ain't bring your A game on that. What's that, man? We can't put that out. And then I can't, how, how can you tell that to your friend that this is pure garbage? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be like, like, bro, come on, bro. What's that, bro? Especially if everybody got egos you know what i'm saying so now i gotta i gotta sit back and act like what you just put put on the record was hot and i'm just like this is this ain't gonna work in my mind i'm thinking this ain't gonna work but i can't tell you this ain't gonna work because you're my man oh you're my home girl but what you putting out is garbage but i can't say it i gotta sit back and let you put hot garbage in the studio and then be sitting back now let's say i did say it now it's really gonna be tension now oh you think i can't rap oh you think i can't do this so that's why I always say, I feel like when you got one person that's really into the rap, JT's really into the rap, rap. Young Miami was really doing her podcast and, and doing her interview show. She wasn't really focusing on rap. She was uh, on a different path. Now you bring her back to rap and she's not really locked into rap. And JC is. And it's like, the energy not going to bounce right. Because she's not even in that pocket of ideals or thought process or putting together music. And as she put together music, that's more of like a commercial for whatever she's doing. And with JT, it's like, no, this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's gonna be it's gonna be tension there because you got one person hungry to put out music and put together a project, and you got another person that's like, I'm doing reality TV, I'm doing interviews, I'm doing stuff like this, I'm moving in a different direction. And there's nothing bad about growing apart or, or doing something different. We got to be grown and be and understand that everybody got different paths. And there's nothing wrong with that. But don't play with my rap path because you're doing podcasts and all of that. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to say, oh, yeah, let's cut ties with this and let's go solo. And, and you do what you do and I do what I do. Because then it's on your time. And then it's on my time. And I can put out what I want to put out. You put out what you want to put out. And just leave it at that. 
because I feel like sometimes you grow into a different version of yourself that cannot connect to the old version of yourself to make the same type of impactful music. That's just what it is. And that's what I thought it was when I heard her say that. I'd be like, there's nothing wrong with going solo and doing your own thing because now you can make the music you love to do and you can have your own strategy on how you want your album or your music to look and come out and videos or whatever you're trying to do. You don't got to collab with somebody else to try to make up an idea. You could just do it yourself. And I feel like that's what they needed. It's this going to bring more energy to both of them, I believe. You know what I mean? Even though I know what's called it dealing with all that other stuff that's going on with Diddy and stuff. So, you know what I mean? But I think it's a good idea and I think it's a good strategy and I think it's intelligent and smart and there's nothing wrong with growing up and just having different ideas and moving differently. I don't dislike you as my friend. I just feel like we just on different paths. There ain't nothing wrong with what she said. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with none of that. I agree with them. Y'all give me y'all thoughts and y'all opinion in the comment section. Do you uh, agree that the city girls should split up? Do you think they should stay together? And do you think they will have success in this path of going solo? I believe they will. What do y'all believe? Get in the comment section and let me know, man. I'm out, G. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Much love.